All right, so what about the future? Well, part of our future has to be uh, off this planet, and this is uh, what Mars life will, will be like. The other problem, and I think Elon uh, fails to at least think about it or talk about it enough, is uh, what's going to happen to our bodies when we get there? Uh, and that, you know, it's a horrible place out there. We're very lucky to live on a planet with a, uh, a magnetosphere. Uh, and one of the big problems, and I work with NASA, big problem is that our DNA and our control program of DNA, the epigenome, is going to be toast. Um, it's a, about a 900-day journey back and forth, and that's enough time that you're going to come back with dementia, uh, premature aging, um, probably some Alzheimer's, just to, to say the minimum. So one of the things that we've been working on is as a a way of using the technology that we develop in my lab um, is to use that to actually help people get to Mars and come back without uh, dying. And uh, so we, we submitted a proposal to, to NASA, and one of the things that NASA was looking for was a way to protect astronauts in near space and deep space, uh, and certainly on Mars. And one of their big problems is how do you shield a human being? And some of the proposals were put a meter of water around the spacecraft, or uh, about a half a foot of lead, which is fairly heavy. Uh, one of the ideas that we had was, why don't we protect the cells, protect the genome, and shield that? And we have ways of doing that. There are actually some new innovative ways to be able to prevent cells from getting damaged, and as well as repair more efficiently. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, the molecule that uh, is, is all the rage in my lab uh, is this one. Uh, this is called NMN. It, a version of this is in clinical trials over at Brigham and Winneman's Hospital. I've uh, been feeding this to, to humans for about 18 months now. Uh, all has gone well so far. And this is the molecule. We, we had a science paper a few years ago showing that this actual molecule, at least in mice, protects those mice from DNA damage and restores the DNA repair capacity of an old mouse to a young one again. And that's an important theme. Often we think that aging is a one-way street. And what we've learned is that there are aspects of aging that are remarkably reversible. Uh, the mice that we published on were treated just for a week, and uh, that was enough to reset that part of the program. 